On the right side of the first equation here, the interpolation function n1 is equal to 0 at node 2. So this will be equal to 0, so this entire term is equal to 0. And then on the right side of the second equation, since the interpolation function for node 2 is equal to 0 at node 1, this is equal to 0, and this entire term goes away. Furthermore, n1 at node 1 is equal to 1. So we can just drop this n1x1 term and just have it be equal to 1. Same thing here, n2 at node 2 is equal to 1. So now the final form of the element equations is listed here. You can see the right-hand side has been simplified as we specified on the last slide. Since we're eventually going to be building a global system of equations for the entire grid, it's helpful if we write these element equations in matrix form. So for this, we can define k, this will be a coefficient, ke, a coefficient matrix for the element equations, ke11 for the element, ke12 element, ke21, and ke22. So this coefficient matrix is going to have four, it's a two by two coefficient matrix, and we'll have two EZs from this summation. Each of these terms has a summation. So EZ1 for the element, since there's two nodes, and EZ2 for the element. And that's going to be equal to the right-hand side array, which just has these two terms in it. So I can just write minus the EZ dx at x equal x1 at the first node, and dez dx at the second node, x2. Now comparing this matrix equation here with the two equations we have at the top of this screen, we can define the coefficients k, e, i, j for each element is equal to x1 element to x2 element. And then inside we have dnix. So this is the spatial derivative of the interpolation function multiplied by the spatial interpolation function, but there's a j here instead of an i, and minus ni x beta squared times n jx dx. On the left here is the element in x coordinates, where the element extends from x1 element to x2 element, and on the right is the element in natural coordinates psi, extending from minus 1 to positive 1. By looking at these elements in these two coordinate systems, we can come up with a relationship between x and psi. Psi is equal to 2 times x minus x1 element over x2 element minus x1 element, and all of this minus 1. And we can check this relationship by plugging in, if we plug in x equals x1 element, in this case, the numerator is 0, and we just get psi is equal to minus 1, which is the correct psi value for node 1. We can see that here. And then if we plug in x equals to x2 element, we, for psi in the numerator, and in the denominator, these cancel except for the 2 coefficient. So we get 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And this is the correct psi value for node 2. You can see that right here. So using this as a starting point, we have a relationship between x and psi. See if you can convert this expression, which I've written here on the top of the screen, and it's also on the previous slide, See if you can convert this expression for the ke coefficient so that you can write it instead of x, in, in terms of x coordinates here, see if you can write it in terms of psi coordinates. So you'll need to convert dx to d psi and so forth.